Hello everybody, it's The Last Raider. We are back and today in the Peter Semetti is apparently a liar because some people claim that he is with no actual evidence. We are sitting here today and I found the number two guy who has started all this bullshit and that is Comic Book Huts. For those of you who don't know, Comic Book Huts is the... <sighs> Basically, if you created a SJW version of Joe Pesci, you would have Comic Book Huts. Okay? He's unfunny, untalented and talks in a monotone all the time. It is, oh my God, it is painful to listen to his videos. I only listen to him if I have to. But you're going to find that this guy, you know, he's basically the gist of why, uh, the reason why this rumor is now started. Uh, comic Book Huts got mad at Peter Semetti. And like most people with Ethan derangement syndrome, I guess Peter Peter Semetti having Ethan Van Skyver on was just finally the last straw with him. Uh I mean, Ethan Van Skyver, Richard C. Meyer, and now I guess Clint Stoker and Peter Samedi are living rent-free in these guys' heads. Okay, this is anti comiscape mind you. And so he decides he's going to put out some evidence, and this is the evidence he's gotten. anti comiscape like a bunch of flies, like a bunch of mice to a trap, are just charging for the cheese. That's what they're doing. They're all heading for the cheese. Captain Cummings heading there faster than anybody else. And about to get exposed, because I'm about to expose his ass for what he really is in another video. But I'm going to play this short clip here. And this is going to tell you everything, the evidence, and you're going to hear the reason for going after Peter Samedi. And you're going to hear where the evidence finally comes from. And it's almost all of its unsubstantiated evidence. It's Have you ever heard of spectral evidence? Spectral evidence is not even supposed to be used in a witch trial. And the one time that it was used in a witch trial was the Salem witch trials, which everyone knows those were a complete and absolute sham. The evidence, there was, there was, it lets you know, there's absolutely zero evidence to this. So, here we go. I warn you, this is painful to listen to because this guy has absolutely zero talent for YouTube. And he, you know, I always like Peter. Uh, whenever I did a review of his books, he always wrote to me, he always retweeted the video. I had a little fluffle with him and with a sour cast Clint Stoker back in November of this year, past year, and uh, it seemed kind of odd that he would be in a stream where he was mocking one of his customers, and I was one of his customers, uh, and then when I did the review of uh, Feast of Famine, he didn't retweet it, he didn't write to me, he always wrote to me, he didn't write to me, so I thought that was a little odd, and from that point I basically uh, didn't want to deal with him, I blocked him. And uh, on Twitter and freedom. on YouTube. But in between all this stuff, Concerned Citizen had told me this story. Now here's uh, the evidence. I don't know what town Peter lives in. But uh, he lives, I guess, in a small town. Um, Concerned Citizen had told me that in this town, uh, the town has a website. And on this website... They document every police call that goes out in the town. So, for instance, if there is a person in distress, it doesn't necessarily have to be a crime. So, say an individual, an older man has a heart attack, or somebody is sick and they need uh, police help, or any kind of, like, you know, call that might be needed, uh, it is registered and put on that website. With Peter Semetti, and what concerns me was that incident of him being swallowed. Let's go back. So, basically, the evidence here is, and then he's going to go on and rehash the entire Alterna thing out just because he's trying to lengthen the video out to more than five seconds. But basically, uh, basically what's going on here is Comic Book Hut saying, we, we've got this website that I've heard secondhand from someone, okay? A cousin of my cousin of my friends, friends, cousins, third removed sisters, lesbian girlfriend, half black brother, told me that there's a website in Peter Samedi's town <laughs> that documents all the police reports and Peter Samedi's swatting was not on the was not on there. There wasn't anything about Peter Samedi's report. There was nothing there. 
And Comic Book Huts in this video admits he doesn't know. He doesn't know where it's at. He's never seen this website. But he's he's taking this on its word. You are the most gullible son of a bitch I've ever seen. You know, you're the most gullible son of a bitch I've ever had to deal with. Okay? How stupid are you? This this is the evidence. This is what we're going after Peter Samedi with and trying to make his life miserable and claim he's a liar with. This is the ultimate evidence. It's 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 non-existent. And of course, at the end of his video, he's like, I'm not going to dox Peter. I'm not going to dox Peter. So he's not going to tell you where it is. That's his excuse. He's not going to dox Peter. Really, man. Really. Why did you come up with this in the first place? This is, like I said, this is a Brett Kavanaughing of Peter Smetty. Okay? It's, it's, well, where, where was the house? I don't know. What room was it? I don't know. What street was it on? I don't know. What time was it? I don't know. But I had one beer. Where's the town? I don't know. <clears throat> where, where's the website? I don't know. Where's the page? I don't know. But I know Peter's lying. That's that's where we're at right now, comic book cuts. <laughs> this is this is what this is all it takes for anti comics gate. Let me tell you something. Anti comics gate is rebranded SJWs who are still pushing the same fucking product. And the only way they can survive is by stirring up controversy. This this is their evidence for going after Peter Semetti. They're listening to Comic Book Huts, who, who is a liar, basically, who has beef with Ethan Van Skyver and believes that he is justified in going after anyone who he maligns with Comicsgate. Okay, this guy's got a history of this nonsense. In fact, I've called him out on his bullshit and he's blocked me already because I was making sense. <laughs> All right, let's be frank. He got tired of getting whooped by someone with a higher IQ than he had. Which most city slickers don't like the fact that country boys have a higher IQ than they do. And he he freaked out and, and didn't want to look bad, so he blocked me off. Just like he's blocked everyone that disagrees with him. Anyone that could that could go after him and, and give him a fight on Twitter, he doesn't want to deal with them. He's essentially the the essence of an internet bully. He's He's got no problem going in there picking on the little guy, but the guy that will step up and break his nose, oh, he don't want to fuck with them. He'll give them a wide berth. He'll do whatever they want him to do as long as he don't have to deal with them. But anyone he thinks he can pick on, he'll go pick on them. And he's now he's now the reason this has all been started. So, here, here's my thing to you, comic book cuts. I'm sorry that Peter Samedi was not into your gay sex. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry Peter Samedi would not be your boyfriend. And I'm, I'm sorry that Peter Samedi wouldn't leave his wife or boyfriend, whatever, whatever Peter Samedi has got, whatever relationship he's in and leave you and run away with you. But that doesn't constitute these false accusations that you're throwing out there. Anyway, folks, I am the last Raider. If you like the video, please comment on the video what you think about all this falsified evidence that's been put out here that we can't, that no one on anti-comics gate can substantiate that has started this whole nonsense. Okay. What we're starting this on, it seems to be fake and they can't even prove that even this evidence exists. Anywho, be sure, like I said, be sure to comment, like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and share this video. And as always, keep your head on the swivel, stay frosty, and I will see you guys in the next video.